Lazaric Homestead. Real people. Real living. Okay, everybody. So I am going to be marinating this piece of meat for a recipe I'm going to make. It's going to be a steak and cheese and onion crescent ring. Stay tuned. So I don't have a recipe. I'm just winging it, guys. I bought these steaks today. We vacuum sealed a few. But I am going to season this up so that I can cut it tomorrow, cook it and cut it tomorrow into a crescent ring. Steak and cheese and onion. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Whoops, would help if I took the cover off now, wouldn't it? We're going to just flip this over, throw some more um, lime juice on there, lots of seasoning. This is brown sugar bourbon, I'm just going to smush that on there, get that stuff blended in there real good. And voila! Hey everybody, so today I'm making a steak cheese crescent ring. I may do some little steak and cheese pockets as well. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet. Um, but I'm going to bring you along so you can see how I get it done. Alright, so this recipe calls for two small onions, red and green, and about one and a half cups total. So, I'm going to take just a little bit of my red and my green. I'm not putting a whole lot because I don't really want them in my crescent roll ring. I'd rather have more onions, so I'm going to add some uh, some sliced onions, if I can find them. Chopped onions, sliced onions. I'm going to put some sliced onions in here as well. I do have a red onion that I cut up, but Use some white onion as well. I'm going to let that sit and rehydrate. So, first things first, preheat oven to 375. Do that. Line a 12 inch pan with parchment paper or, or a silicone baking mat. Heat a cast iron skillet on medium heat. Add half of the butter. All right, I'm gonna get this heated up. Get that heated up. So, tablespoon of butter in there. And then I'm going to cook up my steak. This is a, a, bon, a petite boneless sirloin. This is some ribeye I had left over. So I'm just going to heat it all up. 
and I'm gonna cook it and I'll bring y'all back. All right, so right now I am taking all my meat and I am putting it in the skillet to get it browned up. And then I'm going to take that out and add the rest of it in another batch. And then I'll set it aside and bring you back. While the beef is cooking, I took the crescent rolls, two cans, and I made a ring. So I'm going to lay the meat on that after the meat is done. All right. So I took out the meat, and look how scrumptious it looks. Oh, my God. Now I added some more butter, and I'm going to add in the onions and peppers. and then my fresh onions. Saute those until they're tender. All right, so um, these are all tender, getting there anyway. So I'm gonna add the cream cheese and beef broth. Four ounces of cream cheese. beef broth get that all stirred up is I'm going to sop up this excess water. I don't like having it too soupy. And uh, that way, because it's got to go in the crescent roll, just get that all melty, melty. I love my onion, so I think I add a little more than I should have, but that's all right. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to spoon this mixture onto the crescent rolls. I'm going to move this down. I'm going to bring the crescent rolls over. mixture on the wide ends. Just going to spread it all out.
Mm, God, does this smell good, people. Add the ribeye and a layer around the ring. And then you top it with the remaining You top it with the remaining uh, onion mixture. So I'm just going to try to get as much meat as I can. probably have more meat than I need too. And that's okay because we can use it for other stuff. Sa <clears throat> salad, quesadillas, all kinds of num nums. of the onion mixture. And I just plopped a big ass mess. Sorry guys. Oh my gosh. Yum. rubbing up on my feet. Sorry, Charlie, there's nothing here for you. Get every as much as you can. I'm getting all this yummy goodness. Yes, I am. Look at that, not one piece left. So now, I'm going to take and add the provolone cheese. I'm going to 
layer of yummy cheese, yummy steak, onions, a little bit of peppers. I'm more of an onions and steak person, not a peppers, but I did put a couple. Just to give it that flavor. Just add a few more slices on here. God, this is going to be delicious. All right. Fold the pointed ends toward the center of the ring to cover the filling and tuck the points under the bottom of the ring until all points have been secured. Tuck under. It's a little hard to tuck under, but I'm getting it. Okay, get out Jack. Brush the top with the beaten egg and bake it for 20 minutes. Okay, let me get a beaten egg. Oh my God, it's gonna be good. Brushing this with egg. Come on, Jack, stop eating my feet. Put this in the oven and I will bring you back when it is all done. Here it is after 20 minutes. I'm going to let it sit. <sighs> I'm going to let it sit so that we can dig into this in a few minutes. All right, so it's sat for a few minutes. I'm going to cut some pieces off here. I've got things to do, so I'm going to serve up Lazaric. what he says. I'll bring you back. All right. He's trying it out. Oh yeah. It's good. Oh yeah. Real good. Is the crust crunchy? Soft. 
It's still soft. Yeah. Probably should have left it in there longer. But it's good, so. Mm -hmm. All right. There you have it, folks.